when we are programming, we're used to using null values. And if I have a null reference to something, that null reference is equal to another null reference. Null is just another value that is equal to itself. But in SQL, or in databases, null has special meaning. It basically means I don't know. For example, if I asked you, where does Jamie King live? Well, you could probably say Utah for the state, because that's where Newmont University is. But uh, as far as the city goes, you probably don't know what city I live in unless you stalk me, and that'd be kind of awkward, and hopefully you're not. But, but just because you don't know what city I live in does not mean that I don't live in a city. Wow, that's a lot of knots and negatives, doesn't it? So think about that. I do live in a city. Just because you don't know what city I live in doesn't mean I'm homeless. Okay, so, so null in that case would mean I don't know. It doesn't mean the city doesn't exist. It just means, duh, I don't know. So when you look at null, you should think, duh, I don't know. So, so watch this. If I say select, let's go, let's go SQL here, select, five, five. And I run that. This returns a table with one row, one column, the value five stored in there. Well, that's not very interesting. Let's do something more. Select five where nine equals nine. Well, I still get five. But how about where nine equals ten? Well, nine in no universe does nine ever equal ten. So when I run this, notice our row disappeared. So that makes sense. Now, what if I did nine equal to null? Well, is nine null? Well, no, it's not. So we're not going to. I just reran that. There, I'll run it a bunch of times for you. Notice that uh, nine is not null, so or it's not equal to null, so we don't get uh, our five down there. What if I said null equal to null? Well, in your head you think, well, yeah, of course, null is, in, yeah, that is equal to null. Null is equal to null. But, but when I run this, here I'll f five, and notice we 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 didn't get our five back. So in SQL, null is not equal to null. And the reason that is is think of, okay, so Jamie King lives in a city, and you don't know what city that is. And say Bob Smith lives in another city, and you don't know what city that is. So both my city and Bob Smith's city, they'll both be null. But that doesn't necessarily mean we live in the same city. We could, but I don't know. So when you look at null, you just think, duh, I don't know. So SQL, there actually does a three-valued logic thing. Uh, an expression can be true, it can be false, or it can be, I don't know. All right? And the... The uh, result, null equals to null, is, I don't know. Maybe Jamie and Bob Smith live in the same city. Maybe they don't. I don't know. <clears throat> and so, unless the condition is true, only in conditions where the result is true, will we get a row. So null is not equal to null. 5 is equal to 5, though. And so I, I do get my 5 here. Anyway, that's, that's a little bit of null in a nutshell. Now, sometimes we need to check for null. And so you'll be tempted, and especially in your rookie years, you'll say null equal to null. Or you'll say, here, here's, here's a more realistic example. Select splat from customers um, where, where uh, well, let's just let's bring up the table first. Here's the customers table again. We've seen it several times. Look at the region. So the region's null. It probably means we don't know. Or maybe it just means that there's no region in whatever country they live in. Either way, it's null. So let me get all the customers where their regions, where they have a null region. So, so you may say uh, where region equal to null. Now think about this. This query, SQL Server, is going to run down each row one at a time doing this check, region equal to null. Well, I just showed you that null is not equal to null because don't know is equal to don't know. And since that's unknown, we will receive no results. So watch what happens when I hit a 5. No rows are returned. A table still returned, and it still has columns. There's just no data in that table. So to handle null, we have uh, some some gentle handling inst instructions. We say is null. Run it. Notice here, I have everybody with with a null region. See null region, but I have to say is. I can't say equal. Okay, very very different meaning. I can also say is not null. And now I receive all the customers who uh, who do have regions. See all these regions here down the center. Anyway, null in a nutshell. Every time you to see null, you should just kind of jokingly say, I don't know, and boom, you got it. That's, that's how I remember it.